Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on rigging a car in Maya. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request. So let's get started. So as you can see I have a model of this car over here. So I will just slightly just push it up, it is a very high poly model. So what I will be doing over here is like I need to rig this car. So I want to make it a movement, I want to uh, rotate the tires and all this stuff. So we will be utilizing some constraints over here. So let's get started. So very first of all, I uh, will just select the body over here. After you select the body of this car, let's go into this mesh. Uh, you can go into the modify and very first of all what we do over here is like you need to go into this and say as freeze transformations select this so you need to freeze the transformations first so first you freeze the transformations it will take a bit of time because uh, the file is a bit much heavier so we'll just freeze the transformations so whenever you're rigging a car you don't need to assign the bone setup stuff so we need to work with a parent child relationship as we have seen in the previous tutorial of rigging a bottle where we have utilized a parent child relationship the same kind of constraints will be utilizing over here I'll show you that so it's taking a bit of time so once it is done as you can see the translate rotate values are 0, 0 because we have freezed this. So we have already grouped these tires. So let's select this tires over here and go into this modify. Again, it freeze transformations. Now, as you can see, I have shifted this anchor point. So you can just shift if your if your anchor point is at the center of the object. So if it is at the center of the object, you can go into this, press insert button and you can slightly shift the anchor point a bit down in this way. I will go into window, I will just activate the outliner over here. Now after that, let's go into this and let's create a controller. So I will be creating a controller over here to control this so let's just create a controller and put it on top of it so this controller has to be you know we need to control this object over here so what we'll be doing over here very first of all select the controller go into modify and say freeze transformations select the car press shift and select this controller and go into the rigging let's go into constraint and you have a constraint called parent constraint so you can just use a parent constraint so select the controller then the car go into the constraint and give a parent constraint so very first of all uh, you can just assign so again if you have shifted this then you need to freeze the transformations so please freeze this transformations over here. Once you freeze it, please don't move the axis over here. So you can just go into this and let's give a parent constraints. It is moving down. So we don't need to change this stuff over here whenever you are doing it. So please don't change this. We'll just keep it down over here. Let's again take a controller over here like this push this up modify freeze transformations and parent constraint so once you parent it now you can see that my car is been parent by this particular controller now select this let's go into this attribute editor into that there is a property of display and we have a property called display local axis 
So once you activate this local axis and once you rotate it, you see that it is going to rotate accordingly with the local axis. So I'll keep activated this local axis. Again, I'll go into this, go into edit, delete all by type and I'll delete the constraint right now over here. Okay. So I'll just delete this constraint. Now, what we need to do is we need to see that its anchor point is snapped with the car anchor point over here. So press D. D is for if you press D you can change the pivot point. V is for snap. Press middle mouse button and snap it with this. That's it. So now once you have snapped this, now again you can select this and this go into the constraint and give a parent constraint. So now you can see, now whenever I am trying to rotate my car with the help of this controller, you will see that it is going to rotate it from here. Can you see? So if you want to show some kind of uh, jerks or something that can be used with this controller over here. So controller pivot point is snapped with the car pivot point in short. Now let's go into the nerve circle. Go into this. Now we have into the translate of the nerve circle. We want to set a limit that I don't want the full rotation. Now you can see it is going with a full rotation. I don't want the full rotation. We can set the rotation limit over here. So let's click on this rotation limit. I'll set the minimum limit over here as minus 15 and the maximum limit I'll set it as 15. Now if you say 15, see you can see this is a 15 is a very high number. So let's make it as minus 8 and maximum as 8. Now this is perfect. As you can see, now this is correct. You can see the limit now. I cannot move more than 8 on any of the axes. The same way we will be doing it for this axis also. That is a z axis. So for that we will make it as minus 4. And the maximum value will keep it as 4. So you see you get this much of this. So you get this with it. And you get this with it. So that is possible. Now, let's again take one more controller. I'll rotate it. There are two ways. I'll push this up. I can go into this reset transformation uh, freeze transformations select this shift select this go into constraint and we have a constraint called aim constraint so before we use this aim constraint I'll just scale this and I'll set this controller with the tire towards the tire. So I can use this uh, aim constraint towards the tire. Same, I'll duplicate this over here. I'll place it over here. Modify freeze transformations. So select this, shift select this, constraint, aim constraint. So now how aim constraint works, can you see? If I move this, I can easily move my tire. The same way, I'll select this. Again, go into the constraint and let's give a aim constraint. So aiming is something like it is going to aim anywhere. You can see this, wherever this will move, it's going to aim it. As you can see, you can even rotate it. See, so this is what your aim constraint is going to work. 
now let's again go into this let's take one more controller i'll just push this controller over here go into modify freeze transformations select this both the controllers shift select this and let's press p so p is for parent so this this is a parent of this controllers and if you want to rotate this individually you can even rotate this individually or you can utilize this option so now you get two things so this controller is going to control this movements over here and it is going to control this movements can you see let's go to the top view and let's take one more controller so will this is a global controller so we can just name it or we can say this is a global controller so again go into modify say freeze transformations so i'm just going to give this freeze transformations select the car the wheels and select this and so select this the car shift select the main controller and press p so you can just parent this select this this and shift select this press p so now we can see this is your main parent controller that's your global controller we can say this is going to control your rotation movements and this is going to control your wheel movements so if you have any other options like opening the doors or anything i cannot do it over here because the doors are attached so if you want to do this you can do the same with the parent and child and put the controllers and now for the wheel section i can just go over here i can just create this over here so you can go into the modify freeze transformations and you can use a again a parent controller you can see you can rotate the wheels also in this way so you can easily rotate the wheels so before you rotate the wheels make sure it is at the center of the particular object so whenever you are assigning it you snap it correctly will work properly so i can just press v and i'll snap this select this and this go into constraint and give a parent constraint so now you can just rotate it you can see you can easily rotate the tires simultaneously you can select this controller and this controller and connect it with this main controller that's it this is a main parent so this is going to control this car movements this also going to control the front car movements and this is going to control your wheel movements and if you want you can even give a parent over here if required let's try to give this so you can try that so modify freeze transformation
so you can use this parent constraint so if you're using this parent constraint then this is non-functional you can just press or you can just select this and press T or even you can only use the parent over here and you don't use the look at constraint or the aim constraint that's totally okay so whatever you feel is correct you can put it accordingly so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so if you want to see how it can move you can try to just animate this over here You can select this controller. You can slightly rotate it. And see? So I can do such rotations over here as required. And also you can do the animation for the wheels. So it's better you go with, uh, if you want a rotation for the wheels, you can go with the parent child. That would be much better. Select this. And you can rotate it. And move the rotations. So same way you can do it on the other end also and rotate it. So now if you see just a basic moment you can see that this is just what we have animated with the rig part. So I'll go over here, I'll just set it to 35 over here and let's play it. Make it as 50. So I'll go into the show, none and I'll just activate this polygons. Can you see? So now you can see that uh, it is clearly animating. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So as you can see how we can rig a car in this way. So if you have any other stuff like opening the bonnet, opening the doors, if you want the wiper animation, if you have the side mirrors animation, if you want to show something like the open hood is opening, the sunroof is opening, you need everything in different different parts and you can easily put the controls and parent it. Okay. So guys, uh, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So if you want, I can share you this file. So please put your email IDs. Whenever you want this, I'll just uh, share you this file. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this tutorial.